Hello folks, in this video we are going to talk about assessment, workup and management of a patient with a transient visual loss. This video may be a continuation of a previous videos that I'm going to put down in the description of the video. I hope you folks have been enjoying this channel which I aim to continue for a long time. This is a channel with uh, mini lectures for ophthalmologists or medical students who want to improve their knowledge. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do when you see a patient with a transient visual loss is to do a good history. You check the age of the patient the duration of the visual loss, triggering factors, if the visual loss is recurring or not, you're gonna search for associated symptoms, neurologic symptoms, and you're gonna ask if patients take any medications. The second thing you need to do is to do a good and complete eye exam. You're gonna check if the visual loss may be related to APD. You're gonna check visual acuity. You're gonna check the vessels in the epibulbar area. You're gonna check the fundus with special attention to the vasculature and the optic nerve. At this point, you may have more or less an idea of more or less likely cause of transient visual loss. It's important to keep in mind as well that you want to uh, identify if the visual loss is monocular or binocular. Depending on the history and your differential diagnosis, lab and further workup with imaging may be required. First thing you need to keep in mind when you go for the management is does this patient have an embolic process going to the eye? If the patient does, this patient needs to be referred to a stroke center to have immediate a stroke protocol. The stroke uh, team may want to do imaging tests of, for example, cardiac echocardiography or carotid Doppler. You may also identify if the patient has retinal artery occlusion because some centers consider massage or even paracentesis if this retinal artery occlusion is very recent, ideally less than four hours ago. For patients with sign of, signs of uh, thromboembolism, like retina vein occlusion, you may want to do a fluorescent angiography and work with the PCP, primary care physician, to check for risk factors, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, and improve lifestyle. Patients with retina vein occlusion who develop macular edema naturally will need Jovich injections. If you're suspecting of uh, giant cell arteritis, the neurology team may do further tests like ESR or even temporal artery biopsy. For cases of retina migraine, you need to work with the neurologist to check for triggering factors and stop triggering factors like caffeine, chocolate, or other things. And patients may need uh, oral medicines like simple analgesics or stronger psychotropic drugs. So when you have a patient with a transient visual loss, value patient's symptom. Follow a process of history, good eye exam, be build your differential like we discussed in previous video 
and try to refer and work with the other physicians to have a plan. I hope you like this mini lecture again. See you next time.